All right, guys, welcome back to the modded Misfits server with your pal Super Turtle. Guys, today I'm looking at this this power tower we got here. Don't get me wrong, it's great. I love this thing, but there's a problem. Getting string or wool to put onto these guys is a pain in the butt. This is what I'm doing to get some hemp fibers. Um, it is ridiculous. These guys here, uh, so yeah, you can make string with them and stuff like that. There's a zombie. I'm in danger. Oh yeah. So there is a hidden feature within this mod pack that if you have silk touch on a pickaxe, if you come over here, check this out, we get mob spawners. So check this out. So if I place this here, let's make sure I'm using a silk touch. Yes. So if we place this here, this will spawn in guys. But if you mine it, it gives you the spawner. Very cool. Uh, our, our good pal Psychotic Butcher discovered that. So if you guys do enjoy that bit of information if you're playing the mod pack go ahead and give him a sub to thank you because he's a great guy so here let's go ahead and get this all processed up oh yeah and i also got a mending book while adventuring for spawners very cool okay so we have our spawner here let's go ahead and grab the other ones like a so and like a so like a so like a dece and we're gonna need a block now i have been working on something down here don't know if you guys could see it but we do have an elevator block this is our little room down here. Yes, so this is gonna go out quite a ways this way. It'll probably go out only about 12 to 15 more blocks this way. Uh, and I'm also thinking about dropping this down. Now, if I drop this down any more blocks, I'm gonna need to push it out this way so the stairs can come back and then feel all congested. But other than that, this room is where we're gonna be putting our spawners in. So with Industrial 4 going, we have two different options. We have a mob slaughter factory and then a crusher i do believe so we have a mob slaughter factory i'm pretty sure that gives us the goo anyway we're gonna find a way to kill these guys and i'm pretty sure we need to use this guy first so let's go ahead and make it up so we're not gonna make up our things but we're gonna make it up we're going to build it actually i said i said something that i, I probably shouldn't have uh we need the industrial hemp fibers for that, but we need bone meal so we can bone meal these guys. I didn't make this clear. I just want to verify that we're doing this spawner thing for the bone meal so we can bone meal these until we can get further into immersive engineering. And to get further into immersive engineering, we need to have more power going to our system here so we can start to auto craft the creosote oil stuff. Okay, makes sense? Everyone's on the same page? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna grab this small backpack here. This acts like a, a portable chest here, as you can see. We're gonna put these in here. This is gonna be our project box thingamabob for the day. Uh, now, the blocks that we're going to be using underneath the world, I wanna use basalt, because basalt is pretty neat, it's pretty spooky. But we don't have enough of it. We can get a whole heck ton of it from the nether. Are you mad at me? No, okay, we're good. Basalt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, so we're going to start this process of getting this all crafted up. Wow, that seems pretty easy. Wow, okay, wow. Whoops. Whoops, did I make that too easy to craft because we have a refined storage? What the heck? I need two swords. Okay, two count of two swords and two count of two axes. Oh, yeah. All right, what are these? Plastic. Oh no! <laughs> we need to get into rubber production! Yes, okay, so... I think it's just an extractor. Yes, this this fool over here, the extractor. Fluid extractor. Let's go ahead and make up another one of these. Okay, we got a few of those made up. Good, 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 good. Okay, to you. Okay, so we should have everything for this. Yes, require power optional. What the heck? Why would it be optional? Okay, so we're going to need to do this kind of manually for a little bit. Um, wouldn't be a bad idea maybe to put it... Whoop. No, don't mind this. Well, mind it. Okay. Can't do much about it now. Okay, so we put pieces of wood in front of this and it extracts the fluid out of here. Now, I believe if we give this power, it will probably be much faster. It's okay, we do have a few of the, oh, that's a relay, we need the connector. Okay, so we put this guy here like so, connect it over, 
Yeah, as you can see here, this is moving much faster. It's not much faster, but it's faster. And we do have upgrades here. Okay, so we do converter upgrade. Oh, that's conveyor upgrade. Um, Maybe we can get a tree farm going on. Obakabi, so we're getting latex here. We're gonna need to get some fluid cables going. Um, Let's see here, fluid, basic fluid. Should be all we need. And then what do we use? Oh, let's see, rubber, right? Give me one second. Okay, so what we need to make here is a latex processing unit. Uh, yes, we just need a latex bucket. Okay. That ain't difficult. Let's just go ahead and get that bucket. I oh, hit caps. Oh, I get the bucket. Just shrink. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be here a bit AFK. We're going to get some latex going. I'll be right back. Uh-oh, that's not a good sound. I was about to start recording, but then... Ah, they found me. Okay. There's a lot of them going on. We're just going to slap, okay? Don't have worry about me. Don't have worry. I'll be a hop. Oh, I thought that everything was the thing. Okay, so went ahead, and we have enough for a latex bucket. Yes, wow, one piece of wood equals one bucket, okay. So, latex processing unit, right Cool. Oh no, we need to power this from the back. Don't worry, we could do that. Can you shut up for like two seconds while I make a video, please? Yes, still getting power, we will put you here. Bro. Stick that thing in here one more time. Watch what happens. Okay, now we somehow have to get the power to here, too. Okay, so maybe we have to go up. Boom. You know what I say? Now we need water, right? Um, do we have a sink in this? Uh, not a right one. Do we have... What do we have for water? What do we have for water, man? Water condenser. Oh, man. I'm gonna need one of these now. But we need rubber. Mm, okay, that's fine. I'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way with the bucket. With the bucket. Okay. <clears throat> okay. 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 Let's grab one of these medium voltage connectors along with this medium voltage connector wirer. I don't know the limit of how many things we can have connected off of one of these... But if we're if there's a limit, we're getting probably close. Nope, doesn't seem to be that limit. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna go bam bam. Dude, get your bow out of my freaking face! Oh shoot! Huh? Dude, I will wreck your face if you stick that in here one more time. Okay. Hey, it's working. Perfect. Okay, so if I put the, the water in here. Like a show. Two buckets. All right, it's gonna be press. I'm gonna go wreck these guys that are pissing me off. <clears throat> Boy, you try to shoot me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get your face wrecked off. Why are there so many? Yeah. Bro! Triple my crops. Whatever. We don't go to villages anyway. Let me go ahead. Let this thing process. Oh, we got tiny rubber. Perfect. And we just need a lot more of these. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. All right, so our plastic has just finished getting smelted up. Let's go ahead here, and boom. We got the mob slaughter factory. Now let's go ahead and place it down, and show working area. Okay, yeah, so we're going to need some upgrades, and those are probably going to require some more. Oh. 
We need a dissolution chamber, which we need two more plastic. Ah, okay. So what I did is I moved it. It's gone. Poof. It's gone. Yep, I moved it over here. Ran some power underneath. Now we have three of these guys working together going into here. So we already got two. And that's since I grabbed it. So we have a total of four now. Uh, yeah, I guess I need to do some more AFKs so we can make some range upgrades. Because this will not do, unfortunately. Okay, so let's have a look here. Um, so to make these guys, we're going to obviously need to make this... This is dissolution chamber. Yeah. So all we need is a diamond gear. Is that really it? Okay. Bam. Okay, perfect. So I also went ahead and we upgraded again. We have three more up top. These don't have power, so they're a little bit slower. But they're still giving us a crazy amount of... Not crazy, but a decent amount of this stuff. Um, yeah. Is there a way to set these... No. So it's just going to pour into here. Yeah, we're not going to get any more here until this is full. Okay, that's fine. We have made it, which is what we needed to do, obviously. So now all we need to do is just put one of these little power taps down here on this guy. We don't need that. We need this. Click, clack. The snack that smiles back. It's tomatoes. Okay. So, bam. So... Yeah, so we need, a, we need a full bucket here, so we need to let this charge up. We're going to go ahead and get all the materials for... Probably only need, like, this one. So just gold nuggets, two glass panes. That's easy to make. What a pain. <laughs> see what I did there. Is it three? Just two. Okay, we're going to grab some redstone. And some gold nuggets. All right, now we get to go ahead and wait for this thing to get built up. <sighs> built up, not built up. But it shouldn't take very long. We're already up to 300. Cool. Bingo, bongo, wongo. Guys, look at that. We are ready to rock. Yes. Oh, holy. Um... It doesn't make progress because it doesn't have enough power. What kind of BS is that? All it do, it's using up all my power and not giving me anything. Now, do the different tiers require less power? No, they just require different things. Unless you have to make the first tier, then the second tier, then the third tier in order to increase the power capacity. We'll try it. We'll try it. We'll try it. We'll try it. Are we even able to make this stupid basic one? Let's see here. No, we're not we're not even able to make the basic one. <sighs> well, this is stupid. It says it only requires 12,000 power. Hmm. Okay, guys, so it looks like we're just going to have to drop these guys. Uh, so yeah, I want to go ahead and put these guys over on this side of the base. We're going to go ahead and make a tower over here as well. Uh, let me pillar up here. Actually, no, we can just test to see. Oh, that's a skeleton. We can just go here and find out what coordinate this starts at. Because we go yeah, all the way across. One, two, one, one, two. Okay, that's easy to remember. So let's see here. Uneven number. We have Z227. Okay. So 227 is where we're going for. That's where we're going to start our little project here. 
Okay, so that means right here. So one, so we go one, two, one, one, two, and then here. Perfect, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and build the circle and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have the circle made here. This is where our tower is gonna go ahead and go. Uh, so you might be asking yourself how we're gonna be killing these guys now. Uh, well, let's have a look here. Uh, we don't really have a masher. We have a grindstone. I guess the, the best way to go ahead and do this is just to give them fall damage, really. Um, or we could use some conveyor belts for immersive engineering, but those are pretty expensive. And I think that dropping them and just having a like pretty much a basic mob farm would be the best idea. They'll drop uh they'll drop some stuff for us. Man, this is uh this is not gonna be fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out. We're at Y92. I'm just gonna go down to See, so 70 would be 22 blocks. I'm gonna go down to 65 and I'll be back once that's done and we'll be looking up at this guy. All right, guys, so we have chiseled this all the way down and if you're wondering how we did it, we did it with this hammer. Uh, it's very simple. We only had to come down here like 12, 13 times. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, so let's head up back up to the top. Teleport, sweet. All right, so yeah, there's a skeleton over there. Probably need to take him out. Okay, so yeah, if we check this out, yeah, looking good, looking good, looking good. So we're going to go ahead and come up one, two, three, four, five, maybe. And we're just going to seal this off for now. Um, actually, let's just go up, let's go up a bunch. Because I want to go ahead and add in the spawners. We'll just have a good time. Up, ah, I fall down. Alright, so we have it built here. Freaking crazy dudes. Okay, so let's go ahead and get up here. Uh, yeah, this is where we want to bridge in. Okay, so we're gonna bridge on to the middle. That was the middle. It'd be here. One, two, three. Um, let's see. One, two. One, two, one. Okay, so yeah. So we need to place the spawners at our feet here. Perfect. Okay, so we get the spawners out of our pouch here. Now we only have three. We can go ahead and upgrade this to four. I think we're gonna try to do a blaze one eventually here. Actually, we're probably not gonna do a blaze just because the killing system probably isn't gonna work, but we are gonna place. And then we're gonna kinda do one of these. Kinda do one of these. Unfortunately, we do have to be near it to AFK, so we're going to need to make an AFK room. But yeah, okay, cool. So they are, they're kind of spawned in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build, I'm going to dig down and we're going to put a waypoint down at the bottom. Okay, guys, so we are down here at the bottom of the spawn spawner area and i set up a waypoint over here for the spawners i also went and dug a, a hole back up uh so i don't know what the best method of collecting them will be um i do think that the rail one will probably be the easiest we can do right now uh, so let's go ahead and head back up home i will show you guys how to do that uh, if you want let me know if you want to know how to do that down in the, the descriptions you can set it to 
uh, be able to teleport to your uh, your waypoints, which is pretty OP. Just a config file you have to set from false to true. Okay. So let's see here. So rails. Do we have any cool rails? Uh, we got some rail of the nether, rail of the overworld, rail of the end. Mm, no, we just have to do the normal rails. But we do have quite a bit of iron for that, which that should easily be enough. Make some of that. Okay, let's head on back down there. Oh, we need to make the hopper minecart. Hopper enchantment, adapt hopper. Yeah, so this is going to have to do it. Okay, it might not be a bad idea to have two unload sections. Going to need a comparator. Okay, comparator. We're going to get two of these. Just in case we need more, we need some redstone. We need some repeaters, right? We're just gonna make a simple unload system here. Okay. We're gonna need to just some normal hoppers. Uh, I'd like to make one more. Okay, so we can make a total of three of those guys. That's all we're going to need for now, which is perfect. Okay. Let's get a few redstone torches. And then just some normal redstone. Make our way down. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're just going to break this two more times. Oh, I'm glad I didn't mind that. Okay, so we know that it works at this level to kill them, which is good. Okay, so we're going to need a lot of half slabs because I don't want anything spawning down here. Kind of be lame. Oh, shoot, that was kind of dumb. Now this does not have to be pretty at all. But it does have to work. Okay. So we're gonna want the rails to come in here on the sides. We're gonna have this whole room system back there that only we are gonna be able to access. And maybe a couple other guys. Okay, just like that. Okay, so we need them to unload here. They get shot down like so. Okay, let me figure out how we're gonna map. All right, so this is what I decided to go ahead and do this way. Every single one of these is accounted for. Now we are gonna have the rail go underneath some blocks that you don't pick anything up under, but this way, uh, none of the blocks will, in fact, not be picked up. And this is completely even. I just realized that because we made it an even number. So this is good. If we made it an odd number, one of them would be further than the other one. But they're not. So we're going to see about making this row here, the powered rails, at least for a little bit. We're going to put the redstone blocks under these. And then we're going to put the powered rails on.
No, bad. Perfect, okay. So, let's go ahead and just test this. Obviously, this is gonna be where it gets power from. It's gonna need some power on there. But is this enough to get it going? Probably help if we had some redstone going along here. We do have enough for that. And I did it this way so that they would only have to worry about half of the room. Uh, but if that got, yeah, this is not gonna go all the way up. Not to fear, we expected that. Okay, so I almost wonder, uh, just because this seems like an old, uh, like a good spot for it, I wonder if putting just a rail here would fix that for us. Okay, and this is, this is where this will be, just so it has enough power to get all the way up. Okay. All right, so we are gonna have these on a safety switch. So that way when I'm not online or I don't need this running, it won't be. Um, let's see here though. Okay, so we need a comparator obviously running out of here, it's very basic. Just letting us know that, hey, that's not working. Aha, I built this too high, no worries. That was what the issue was. Very good, we need it to read the uh, hopper here. So we can go ahead and do, as we're gonna actually build it out this way. Yes. So it should have a cleaner look from the front. So we're, me oh. we're measuring signal coming out of here. Bam. Right. This is a very basic system. Good to go. Flamio Hotman. Look at that. These guys got more than enough speed. Maybe. Okay, and for that kill switch, we're gonna go ahead and just wire it up. Can we make one of these? No, okay. So let's go ahead, head back to the base. We're just gonna grab. Okay, so here's the kill switch. Uh, when you flip it on, it will catch the mine carts. And when you flip it off, it'll send them off. Very cool. So we can also see here from the bottom, uh, like this will be on when we're up at the top AFK. We'll have to come down here and flip it off. They'll come up here, they'll get turned off. It's very easy peasy. Now I do think we do need another line of red star of the powered rails going through. Cause they come here. And once they hit those, I mean they're pretty. Oh my gosh, my phone went off. Huh, <sighs> that, uh, that was really uncomfortable. Okay, so let's just go ahead. We'll put this one here. Okay, blocks of redstone. Try not to have that happen. Okay. 
Perfect. Now these things should have more than enough juice to get everywhere. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Which side is faster now? Ooh, left that side one. Perfect. So these will unload when they are on. Yeah, look at that. We already got we already got items in here. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. So now what we need to go ahead and do. Go ahead home. We need to make some half slabby jabbies. All right. Check this out. Uh, yeah, we need to move the spawner. Because I kind of blocked it. Uh, let's go ahead, remove, new. Okay. So let's have a looky here. All right, actually, we need to go ahead and turn it on. Yep. Okay, let's go ahead up to home. And we should be able to just AFK right here. Now I'm going to hop on with the camera account, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So we are here on the camera account. And as we can see, I had to move my AFK position to right over here. Look, here we are. Hello. How you doing in there, turtle? Well, all right. So this seems to be working just fan-freaking-tastic. Those guys are spawning in. We're coming down here. We're creating a lot of noise. see here man that somehow fell through the floor but as we can see yep right there we are picking up that should be just fine anyway those are getting picked up these are getting dropped off interesting that it's oh it's just the way it's set up okay so when these overflow uh, they will start taking out of here, or putting it into here, which is amazing. Well, look at this, guys. We are officially cooking with fire. I'm going to go AFK, like, overnight or something. And we're going to see how good of stuff we can get. But, guys, this has been Super Turtle, guys. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. I will see you all in the next episode. Peace out. Bye-bye.